Hey guys, finally we got to that day which we are going to start installing our conversion kit which uh, is going to allow us to install our YZF transmission into the 2J. So this is the flywheel, uh, it's very light, uh, the other flywheel, the other kit, it was like a thick uh, one piece, this one, I have very good uh, referrals and people that are using it, and this is the adapter. So we're going to figure it out how to use it, uh, and this one we are going to put in place in a minute. On those guys website, they have picture like this, and this tells me how this one goes. So this is actually the shaft, there's a name, shaft, whatever it is. Uh, this goes in here and this goes like that. Okay, so you're gonna put this in there. Nice, like that. And let's go to the engine. Um, and here, it shows the plate it shows the thick side it has a bump up and it goes down right bump up goes down and so if you get the flex plate there are two sides here bump up and goes down so i'm gonna get this this side put in here like that leave my glove out of the way and this properly and that's it it looks good to me then at the end we're gonna put this baby in here and that's where this is going to play the role first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna apply tread lock in every single uh, one of those bolts and there is a washer and I'm gonna put some tread lock on the um, two or three of the threads and zap them in really quick so let's put the washer first I'm gonna do all of this put them all there and coming back in a sec Now I'm gonna do uh, the minimum for my torque range is 15 foot pound. So that's where I'm going now. 15 foot pound. And there is a sequence in here. And just so you know, I am using the whole for the starter motor um, with a, uh, something in there and that keeps this from moving so from here I'm gonna name the bolts and this is gonna be uh, my number one right here so that's my number one it's gonna be 15 foot-pound okay now right across number two now number three right before number one now four one two three this is four now one two three this is five. Now one, two, three. This is six. One, two, and this is seven. And this is either this one, it might be this guy here. This is eight. Okay. So we did uh, 
15 foot pound we gotta do 36 so I'm going to 24 or 25 I just want to do three steps I don't want to be exact <clears throat> same thing one here two Okay, so now we did 36 foot pound. Now I'm gonna get a uh, marker. I'm gonna mark 90 degrees and we're gonna turn 90 more degrees. And this is gonna be around 60 or 70 foot pound. I'm gonna double check first to be sure that all of them are at 36 foot pound. all right nice now marker so the easiest way is to mark up right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to mark all of them 90 degrees as you see here up up Okay, and following the same order, I'm gonna turn uh, 90 degrees. So for this, I don't need a torque wrench, so I got a big uh, uh, bar, and, because this is gonna be tough. So, a little more. Yeah, okay. It's almost like it's wrong. I think we made it. Look at that. So they're all pointing up and now they're all pointing this way. Maybe this one is a little less, but I mean, I'm gonna call it good. And that's gonna be it for this video. If you're curious, um, that's how I wrote uh, the sequence I was using. So you can see on this side here, where there's this a uh, bunch of information. So I have the foot pound and I have, the order is 186 four two seven five three and then it goes to one again so uh that's how i knew which one i was going to torque um uh, yeah so this part of the kit is installed next video i'm gonna put the uh clutch and the pressure plates with the pressure plate which are there so <clears throat> the clutch plate is right here I uh, I opened the other day here there you go super pretty ACT um, and here we have the pressure plate I didn't open yet uh, so yeah I guess this is gonna be 
next video i'm also going to show the difference between um the no m3 and the m3 pressure plates um the no m3 did not work i had the dial pins i expanded the dial pins thought it was going to work i'm going to I'm gonna tell a little bit about that on the next video. So, I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm gonna to try to get all this video together and put on my website, uh, which is www.carmodsgarage.com. Uh, it takes a lot of work, because I'm trying to put the Eclipse also. The Eclipse is almost there, almost all, all the whole way. And um, yeah, this one I didn't even start yet. So, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you around. Look past my face. See status. I'm eating some McDonald's.